for way too long But I don't wanna come down Caught up in a long free fall You got me off of the ground Sway for a minute The play moves side to side to another video my name is Dolcas to those of us who are new here I'm a stay at home work from home mom I'm a mom of two and I'm also a wife and I create content all around me that means anything that resonates with me that is what I create I do a lot of cooking because I love cooking I do a lot of uh, organizing and also cleaning and basically homemaking so Welcome to today's video. I got a feeling you could be my muse. I hear strange when I see you. You say gray, but I see blue. Either way, your eyes the ones I'm looking to. When I'm hell first, falling from heaven, baby. Living on the bed at your kitchen, save me. I was unaware of our elevation till I. So if you're coming back to watch another video here, I want to appreciate you and I want to say that thank you so much for always supporting my content and supporting me. So to those who haven't subscribed, I know this is the opportunity to do so and your subscription goes a long way. So kindly consider subscribing. and I've already prepped my ingredients as you've seen but I need to show you what I'm making or I need to tell you what I'm making I'm making some ginger butternut soup yeah this one is for breakfast I'll be having it with some buns and I have be frying some sausages on the side so for this ginger butternut soup it's very easy you need the butternut yeah you need the butternut as you've seen me chopping use butternut do not use the regular merengue Malengida, malenge doesn't have the nice taste and the thickness and the creaminess that comes with the uh, butternut itself. So I would recommend you use butternut. Yeah, butternut, this one goes for around 50, 40 shillings in the market. And it is the butternut. Unatengeneza according to the number of people you are preparing for. So mine is one, will be enough for us. So this is one butternut. I've just chopped it in smaller pieces so that it is cooks faster. And then I have one red onion. You can use spring onions. You can use some, um, uh, what are they also called? The white onions. Yeah, any of the onions can do. So I have my red onions. I have the ginger. Yeah, I chopped it roughly because you don't need to chop it so fine or to blend it because, or to grate it because you are going to blend this soup once it's cooked. So I have, ginger, I have some ginger roughly chopped. And then I have some salt, and then I have some cooking oil, and then I have some milk. Milk will be really important. I'll show you that step. It will enhance or it will make your butternut become, uh, your soup becomes, make your soup become creamy. So heat up your oil. Add in the onions. My onions are translucent at this point. I'll add in the ginger. They are ready now. I'll add in the I'll add in the butternut. And you'll notice I retain the skin. Yeah, so when I'm cooking butternut, I really retain the skin. I don't peel it off. But if you are the person who peels it off, it's up to you. But I promise you the butternut skin has uh, has a different flavor, which I that's why I like uh, retaining the skin. 
yeah so but anyway if you don't like it you can see it it off I had already added in my salt and my Royco cubes and at this point the flavors had already blended in very well so I'm going in with the water I'll cover and allow my soup to heat up to cook this will take around 10 minutes So 10 minutes later my butternut is ready and uh, at this point I'll just allow it to cool down. I add in the milk and then I'll blend everything together. So uh, it's always advisable to let your butternut cool before blending it out. The soup has cooled up also and at this stage is when I'll add in the milk. Yeah, so you add according to how you like it if you want it uh, thick if you want it lighter it is up to you for me today i think i don't want it too thick and i don't want it too light so i'll transfer this to my blender now and then i'll blend i'll blend everything yeah so let me blend this and then we'll be back so my soup is ready at this point, so I'll just return it to the soufflier because it's a bit cold. I need to warm it up before serving. Yeah, so if you feel like your soup is a bit cold at this point, you can always return it to the soufflier and you warm it up instead of serving people something that is cold and which will not be really flavorful or really tasty. So it's always good to warm it up and then you can go ahead and serve after it is warm. <music> Never been one to not follow the signs. You're looking like a one way. Gotta make the right. Yeah, for the buns, I'm just going to use some margarine and the buns themselves. And I'm just going to cut them using a knife in the middle. Yeah, I'm going to cut them like this. The cuts may not be seamless, but it is fine. Yeah, so I'll cut through. Yeah, so just like that. Yeah, so they are cut now. I'll go in with the margarine. You can use some butter. You can use some blue band, it's whatever you have. For me, today I'll go in with some margarine. Because I had chilled my butter, and right now I can't use it at this, day, at, at this time. It needs to be cold. Anyway, so you just apply the, the margarine just like the way I'm doing. And meanwhile, my oven is preheating at 180 degrees for 10 minutes. And then these buns will go in the oven for around 10 minutes. We just want them to brown. Yeah, we want our buns to brown a little bit. Yeah, to give us that, that nice color. with the margarine this is how they look like just apply the margarine toast them in the oven for 10 minutes and then they will brown all around and that's what I want but I will set the temperature to just be coming from above because I want the buns to burn from above not from below so my temperature my my oven will be set in a way that the buns will just burn from the above and not below. Yeah, so let's wait for the timer and we toast our buns in the oven. So for the sausages, I'll just be shallow frying them. 
So I'll add oil to my pan. And just put them in. I actually don't allow the oil to heat up. It's not a must that you allow the oil to heat up. You can just uh, put the oil in the pan and just put the, your sausages. breakfast is ready our buns are ready i love the brown deep color yeah that's how your buns should look like and then the sausages are ready and they got burnt a little bit but we still we will enjoy them the way they are and my soup is ready i had already warmed this up so everything is ready to be served and we enjoy our yummy mm -hmm. breakfast in the sky chia seeds to on top to make our presentation more presentable <laughs> I believe that I nailed this recipe. If you concur with me, kindly let me know in the comment section. Thanks to everyone who watched the video to the end. Yeah, we are almost coming to the end of the video. Thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, yeah, please like and share and leave a comment and allow me to see you on my next one. Bye! Right choice, hope I make the right noise Hoping that you like boys like me I know you're feeling me from across the room